in the case of a flight mission, we think about mass. We think about uh, the temperatures in the case of thermal engineering of what you know the min and max temperatures can be for the safe operating scenario. Thermal management is important because our hardware operates at specific temperatures. So it's important that we maintain those temperatures and we have to think about the heat going in and the heat going out to keep things at a normal operating condition. Think of your iPhone. Have you ever had your iPhone get too hot? It'll shut itself down and won't work properly. So in the case of thermal engineering, there are a few key methods of heat transfer that we have to take into account. There's convective heat transfer, like in this room, the temperature of the air and how it affects me. There's also conductive heat transfer. You can think of heat flowing through an aluminum bar from one end to the other. And there's radiative heat transfer, which in space, that's the most important because in the vacuum of space, without air, we're getting most of our heat radiating away from our spacecraft directly off of our radiator surfaces. So the environmental factors we have to consider, uh, first and foremost, the space environment. Um, without the protection of Earth's atmosphere, we're looking at direct solar radiation, which is a heat source and that can heat things up. Um, we also need to think about the vacuum of space, so we have the radiative heat transfer, um, since we don't have convection. But as we get to Mars, uh, the environment does change. Once we have the Mars rover on the surface, we have a convective environment that we can take into account and some atmosphere and, and also the distance uh, from the sun as you get further from Earth changes, which will change that heat load. One of the most common materials we use is called multi-layer insulation. Um, this is what we call uh, thermal blankets. Basically the layers of material like thin mylar separated by conductive Dacron netting. Think about bridal veil, for example. So these layers are separated from each other so you don't get a lot of conductive heat through them and they're shiny so they don't get a lot of radiative heat through them. You put multiple layers together and in the vacuum of space it can create a really great insulator. 